If you're ready to learn how to use GDB, you're in the right place because I'm going to explain it as fast as I possibly can. Let's get started. First, you're going to need to compile your C code with a G flag. So if you're using just a few source files, you can do it from the terminal like this. GCC, any other flags you want to add like, uh, uh, I don't know, W all, uh, W error, maybe. Um, and then you can add your G flag and then you're going to put in here your sources. Um, I'm just going to put sources.c um, and then maybe your output, so output file. If you're using a make file, you're going to go into your make file and then I assume you probably have a variable for your C flags, you just put G right on the end there. To start GDB, you just do GDB and then the name of your executable. And normally you're not going to get a display like this, you're going to get uh, just a terminal, a couple lines uh, print on the terminal. If you want to display like this so that you can see your source code, type layout space src for source. To start your program, from the very, very beginning, just type start. If you want to just run your program all the way through, maybe you're searching for a seg fault or where your execution stops, just type run, and that'll run your entire all your code. If you reach the end of your code and you want to restart, you can just press start and it'll start you from the beginning again. Now we're going to talk about breakpoints. Breakpoints are places in your in your code where you're going to stop. You can set a breakpoint at a specific line number by saying break and then that line number. So we'll say 8 here. And you see now I have a B plus in the top left near the line number that I said where to put the breakpoint. You can also set a breakpoint at a function, at the beginning of a function. If you say break and then the name of that function, so here we'll put one at list build. You can see there's a new breakpoint created. If you want to see all of your breakpoints, if you want to list them all and see what index number they have, you can say info break. And you can see on the on the left we have three, and that's the first one that we made, and then we have four. From here, if you want to delete a breakpoint, you just say del for delete, and then the number that you want to delete. Now if I do info break again, you see that 3 is gone, because I did del 3. If you want to continue the execution of your code until you hit a breakpoint, you either say C or you say continue. Both are the same. You can see right now we just broke right after the variable uh, initializations in our list build function. If you wanted to advance to the next line of code, you just type in next or you can type in n for short and if you want to redo the command that you just put in you just press enter with nothing else and since I just typed in n it's gonna redo next and then do next again and then next again if you want to step into a function you can type step or s and that will let you go into a function you can only go into a function if it was compiled with the g flag so if you try to step into the standard library, like printf, it probably won't work unless you compiled it on your local machine with the G flag. But for all this code, since I just compiled it with my make file that I had the G flag in, everything's going to compile with the G flag, and I can step into any of the functions that I made. If you want to finish a function and then return to the function that called where you currently are, so if I want to finish node new and return to list build, you just say finish, or you say fin for short. And it returns you to the function above. Now we're going to talk about variables. If you want to print the value of a variable, you just say print and then the name of your variable. And you can see right now i is equal to 1. You could do more complicated print statements as well. So this program implements a linked list. And you could see that here I have a, a double pointer list. So I first I dereference list to get the first node in the list. Then in the first node in the list, I look at the content. The list is made up of the next and then content, just pointers to each of them. So I go to content. The content is a void pointer, so I'm going to cast it to an int pointer, and then I'm going to dereference that int pointer to find the value at the first node. And the value is equal to 1. So you can do pretty complex print statements if you want to. If you want to be notified anytime a variable changes, you just say watch and the name of your variable. And now anytime that variable changes, it's going to print the old value and the new value. So let's step through with n. There you go. It says we have old value is 3, new value is 4. Do a loop one more time. Old value is 4, new value is 5. 
And then if you want to quit, you just say exit Y to confirm, and you're done. Okay, that should get you started with GDB as fast as I can possibly explain it. If you thought this was helpful, make sure you share it with somebody who might benefit from it. Okay, bye!